Hey guys, it's Andy San here to discuss why I don't go to protests. One of my managers asked me to join him in a protest at Washington, D.C., and I turned down his offer. Initially, the reason for this was because I didn't want to go all the way out to D.C. and possibly be stranded since I wouldn't be driving my own truck, and also because I don't know him very well personally. As I began to really think about it, though, I found out the two real reasons I didn't want to protest. One, openly protesting exposes your identity. If a protest were to turn sour, I don't want the FBI or whoever else to show up at my house and brainwash me. I don't want them to know who I am as an individual. It's not that I have anything to hide, it's just that I want my privacy to be maintained. Obviously, I know that by posting this, I'm exposing myself a bit, and they can trace me. However, I've protected my personal information decently, so unless they really, really want to go after me, they won't find me. Number two, protests present problems but no solutions. Anybody can complain, but it takes someone who's motivated and educated on the situation to present a solution to the problem. If a protest were to present a detailed, functional, and practical solution to resolve what they're protesting about, then I would support them. I still wouldn't expose myself, though, but I would do other things like put up a link to their site on my blog and recommend my viewers to visit their site and support them however they want. Now, I'd like to define a proper solution as best and as simple as I can with the following four questions. Is your solution, number one, detailed? Picture this. You're working a job that you really hate. Some, like me, wouldn't have to think too hard about it. (laughs) You tell the boss, this job sucks. I hate working here. If you didn't get fired for saying that, then your boss might ask, why do you hate working here and what can I do to help? Most people either don't know how to answer the question or just complain about something trivial. It's okay to vent, just try not to make a scene, okay? Because it releases your frustration and allows you to better focus on a solution. However, simply venting won't fix the solution. If you want to change the problem, make sure you point out details. Is it a certain work policy that you don't agree with? Is a certain coworker giving you trouble? Or is it a personal issue? Writing down the details helps you keep track of things and lets you filter out less relevant matters and expand upon the more pressing issues. Number two, is your solution functional? It's as simple as asking, does it work? Can your solution work in practice or is it just theory? Have there been any successful attempts at implementing simpler solutions? Be sure to cite these solutions to make your case more credible. Number three, is your solution practical? Is your solution feasible? Can your plan be utilized with a reasonable amount of money and manpower? And number four, is your solution good for the company? (laughs) I'm sorry, I had to pull out a classic office space quote. It's still a valid question, though. Is your solution aiding everybody or just a select few? Will this adversely affect others within the company? Final summation, totally not ripped off the gradual report, lol. The reason that most protests don't work is because they're essentially bitch fits on a large scale. Don't get me wrong, sometimes protesting works, take Martin Luther King Jr. for example. But, for the most part, however, it's just venting without a proper solution. Well, that's it for me for now. Enjoy yourselves. Andy's on, out.